I wanted to lighten my hair, but I didn't want to bleach my entire head. So I got this highlighting cap to just pick out a few strands to highlight. We're gonna try this. It came with one of these hooks, but the hook is barely there. It's like the tiniest hook I've ever seen. I don't know if I can pick my hair out with this. Okay, but we'll try, we'll try. This is gonna take a while. Oh! Bro, this is gonna take forever. Oh, that was good. I don't know how I did that, but that was good. I'm gonna finish up my entire head and I will get back to you guys. I've been doing this for like an hour straight. I left it in for like an hour. It's this orangey color. I'm gonna wash this out. I really like the color though. I love this hair color. This looks so good. The only downside is that I cannot brush my hair. You guys, my hair is gonna fall apart if I try to brush through this. This was a good idea. I'm glad I did this. Even though it took me so long to use the highlighting cap, I definitely think it's worth it. Yeah, it turned out really good. I'm gonna wait for my hair to dry up a little bit before I go in with this blue shampoo. I personally think I look better in bleached hair. A lot of people tend to disagree on that, but I really like bleached hair on me. I think it looks a lot better than black hair. It's been a couple of days since I've last filmed, but I ended up bleaching my hair one more time and then toning it with this hair dye. I saw somewhere on YouTube that if you dye your hair with an ashy hair dye, it will help tone out the brassiness. If you're stuck with like reddish orange hair, I highly recommend you use a hair dye. This one is 7A. You can use like 6A or 7A to tone your hair. I think it looks super cute and it's like super summery. Honestly, this is giving me throwbacks to like sophomore year of college because I used to have this color hair back then. I'll insert a before picture of what it looked like before I toned my hair. I'm so happy with how my hair turned out. It looks really good. Oh. Oh. Oh, that felt so good. Okay. Right now, I'm going to be applying some temporary tattoos. This portion of the video is kindly sponsored by Inkbox. This is super exciting because they collaborated with BTS recently, and you guys know I'm a huge BTS fan. This collection is inspired by BTS's song, DNA, and all of their tattoos kind of go along with the theme of the song. So this tattoo is a DNA tattoo, which is super cute. So in each of these kits, there is a special edition print, instructions on how to apply the tattoo. It also comes with a primer wipe to prep the skin for the tattoo. And then it also comes with the tattoo, of course. I chose three of their tattoos to apply. So it says prep skin with primer wipe, exfoliate area with primer wipe for 30 seconds, wait 30 seconds for area to dry. I shall do that. I think I'm going to start with the DNA tattoo and I'm going to apply that right here. And then it says peel off tattoo backing, place tattoo on skin sticky side down, peel off tattoo border. Okay, I'm going to put it over. Oh, okay. Let's 
So I applied the tattoo here. I'm going to leave this on for 60 minutes. It says to avoid excessive movement and sweating. So it's been an hour. I'm going to remove this. Your tattoo will look light blue or green at first. It will darken in 24 to 36 hours. I'm going to insert some pictures here of what the tattoo looks like 24 to 36 hours because it's supposed to gradually darken. So I got this waxing machine. I have these like hard wax beads. I actually used this to wax my underarms. I feel like my pain tolerance when it comes to these things is pretty high. So for me, this was not painful whatsoever. My friends and I are going to be taking pictures tomorrow for graduation. We're just going to be in our dresses and we're going to do a little photo shoot. So I'm going to be waxing my legs. <laughs> My hair is so thin that there's like no pain whatsoever. We do this right. Wow, I totally missed a spot. Oh well, I don't have any wax left. That's fine. The tattoos darkened overnight. When I see you, my heart starts racing, but I don't know if I like this chasing and playing and waiting around. It's a shame that my head starts. <laughs> These are what my nails look like. I just got white gel manicure. So it's like 1 a.m. right now and I thought I would laminate my brows. I got this kit and it has like all the instructions on the back so I'm just gonna follow the instructions. I've never laminated my brows before so it's gonna be interesting. I'm gonna remove my eyebrow makeup. Ooh, this is what it looks like. It's kind of cute. Let's zoom you guys in a little bit. Hey, my brows towards the end are not wanting to go up. Look at that. That looks like a galaxy. Okay. <laughs> Avatar? Of all the magic places in the world I've been to, this is where my heart is. Oh, you know it's true. No matter where I go, I'm coming home to you. This bro looks popping. Been walking down the street so many times, my feet know every brick and stone. I unintentionally picked up some food. Like, I was just passing by the food trucks and they handed me the food, so I was like, okay, I'll take it. For the past week, I've been using the Squash Shot to massage my face. This has been all over TikTok, so I obviously had to try it out. Ooh. 